There's a term you hear all the time in golf called lag. We've got a very great perspective today with Dr. Tyler Standiford about what lag means from the ground to the club head. As we think of the golf term lag, you have an interesting perspective there. You're not talking so much about maybe wrist angles. To me, you're talking more about the rotation of the arms relative to the rotation of the trunk. So kind of walk us through that just a yeah, little bit. When we're talking about lag, we're just talking about something that's lagging behind something else, right? Okay. So for sure, we, we talk about it a lot with those wrist angles, which I think is a, a part of the golf swing. But what we're referring to today is this idea of getting that trunk and the arms to lag behind the lower body. And the only way you can do that is if you really start generating that force to the lead leg to allow those kind of pelvis and hips to turn, then the trunk turns, and now you get this really lagging sequence where the very last thing to turn are the arms in the club, and now you get this really forceful, fast delivery to the club. Okay, so don't think of lag in terms of so much your wrists. Think of lag in terms of I've gotten the force on the ground up kinetically through this piece. This is, this is the last piece to come uh -huh. through, so it's lagging all the force that I start with my ground, with exactly. the ground pressure, right? Yep. So if I kind of think of it like this, okay, so my, my turn, my, my arms are rotating here while I've got my left leg loaded, and now here should be my maximum force. Yep right on my lead leg about yep. right here yep. so that force now my knee is turning my hip is turning i get my right oblique my chest starts turning so my shoulder sockets turn and now my upper arms do their rotation around the body yep. and then finally the club head comes through exactly so we've seen in the two tenths of a second or whatever um, from here to here this bang 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 where it goes ground yep. knees hips yep right and this lags the ground yep i mean i literally just came from a data collection with a golfer where we were looking at that he had gone through some speed training some okay. drills that i would given him and literally we're looking at that exact thing where is he getting and and the term that he actually used being a golfer he looked at his post video compared to his pre and he's like man i'm lagging so much better and i'm like yeah that's because your forces to those lead legs are getting there earlier and they're getting a lot larger in that swing so we've got a great iron swing from Rory McIlroy, and let's see a lot of the same things we've just been talking about. So the arms are still going up, the arms are still going clockwise, and there's a mm -hmm. very obvious lateral shift and load into that front leg to left arm parallel. Yeah, you can see that so well on the swing. This is what the pro guys are doing, right, as those arms are still moving in that direction. You're getting that weight shift started so early on in that swing. So if you look at the, you know, just the muscles here, obviously there's, there's a lot of force right here in this lead leg, right? He's caught it on the ball of his lead right here. Yeah. If we look at, you know, he's caught it right here in the ball of his foot and it quickly moves then towards the ankle with the rotation. And now he's got the ground force, led the knee, ankle, led the hips, led the knees, the ribs, now the arms rotate through and then finally the club head comes through. Yep. So this notion of lag, right? So maximum force on left leg is about right there. Yep, yep. Click on the panel on the video or on the link in the description below and you'll get access to a free premium video that's gonna show you a great drill, how to shallow the club that goes right in line with the movement of the hips.